All right, here we go. Come on. Okay. Come on. Please be solid. This is Lido Key Beach on the west side of Florida in Sarasota back in 2020 when there were massive, I mean massive, shell piles that washed up from a renourishment project that dredged sand from Big Pass and they pumped that all the way to Lido Beach. Hi, I'm Roxanne, and if you would like to see some of the shells that I found in those huge piles and hear how I became a sheller, I invite you to join me as I walk out on Lido Beach. This actually made it all the way to the news because of all the shells, you know, that were stirring up from the dredging, especially the exclusive sought after Genonia that I really wanted to find. So after I heard about this, I called my friend and we were talking and we're like, okay, we're going the next day. And we did. It's 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm actually about to get in my car and drive to the other side of the coast See, when you start liking shells, you do crazy things like this in the morning. And since then, I've gotten up way earlier than that to go shelling. So how did I come to a love of shelling? I've lived in Florida for over 40 years, but I only started collecting sea glass a couple years before COVID hit. And then, of course, when COVID hit, you know, we're home, there's nothing to do. And I needed to get these kids out because that summer I didn't know what to do with them. So I was like, we are going to be tourists in our own town. We started going to all the different local beaches, you know, maybe like an hour or so drive away and checking them all out. And then I decided to venture over to the West Coast. We went to Honeymoon Island was the first West Coast beach that we went to. And I found a Florida fighting conch. I thought that was the prettiest shell ever. I couldn't believe it. I was like a real shell. <laughs> And since then, my love for shelling just took off. So this is the farthest part you can walk out to. <laughs> so many shells. Look at these piles. So we just put our stuff down right there and we started digging. But first, I decided to go ahead and just check out the water's edge. There were lots of Florida fighting conch shells. And I really do like them when they come in this buttery sunshine yellow. They're so pretty, even though they're, I know they're really common now, but man, when I first saw my first one, I was pretty stoked about it. And there's some lettered olives. That's a lettered olive shell. I like it when those are shiny. And this is a knobless fighting conch. It doesn't have any of the knobs on it. This was just absolutely amazing. I just couldn't believe all the shells. Sitting down now and started to shuffle through some shells and I found this pretty interesting one. She looks like she's giving birth, but she's not. It's just a deformity in how the development of the shell was. Looks like the juvenile shell there kind of had a deformity as it was growing and developing into adulthood. And this is an auger shell. Nice point on that one. And laying on top here, even though they were broken, I still really like them. They are banded tulips. And that orange with the brown lines, just so pretty. And here is a nutmeg. I'm starting to get a little deeper in my hole, so they're appearing a little bit wet with some seaweed. And a lightning whelk. An olive shell, another lettered olive shell. This one has a really nice gloss on him. pretty base scallop here and a beautiful lace murex. Oh. Started to find some alphabet cones. Those are always so fun to find. Very pretty and look at that one right next to it. 
I've been shuffling through shells for about an hour and 20 minutes now, and I saw Genonia spots, and I froze. I covered them back up because it actually scared me, and I wasn't sure if it was just a piece or a whole shell. All right, here we go. Come on. Okay. Come on. Please be solid. Oh, oh. Yeah. I cannot believe I actually found this shell <laughs> and I was only there for not even two hours yet it was very exciting and literally I was ready to go home but later on that afternoon my friend Shalay found the Genonia too she became an official J Club member herself this was all very exciting so we came back three other days This is a scotch bonnet, which I was happy to find, being they're not very common on the west coast. And in my hand there is also a worm shell. This is my daughter digging. She came with us on the second day, and she found a lightning whelk. It's a little bit dark, and that's because it was probably auction deprived in sand or mud or something, and it created iron sulfide, which kind of acts as a dye, and it stains the shells. Sometimes they're really dark, even black. Oh, wow. we and look at there, I found another little chip of a Genonia this time. This is Florida's state shell, a horse conch. It's a little pale, a little beat up, but I was excited to find it. And here's a brighter one, a nice orange. They're always really pretty when they're orange. And I found another Genonia. <laughs> two days in a row. It was a little beat up, but I gave it to a friend. She was happy. A pretty alphabet cone to end our second day. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Till next time, happy shelling and I'll leave you with this.